At about 3.30pm uh, on the afternoon of Monday the 1st of uh, July this year, a, um, a lady whilst walking through parkland to the rear of Greenslade Street, Tingalpa, was approached by a young male person brandishing a knife. She was led into nearby scrubland and sexually assaulted. The uh, male person is described as being in his mid twen uh, early 20s um, with dark, spiky, short hair and of a slim build wearing a dark hooded jumper and dark uh, pants, possibly jeans. How is the victim? As well as can be expected. Physically, she's fine. Obviously, very upset. There has been footage obtained from uh, local residents with their own um, uh, home security um, CCTV recorders, and um, it's been of tremendous assistance. Is that identified one or both? Um, unfortunately, we only have the lady on on footage at this point in time. Did um, did this man say anything to her? Very little. Um, it was obvious, painfully obvious, I think, what, what uh, it was going to transpire, but um, very little was actually said. And how did she get away? She was basically uh, left to her, to her own devices to walk away from the scene. Had this man been following the lady? Or did he come out of nowhere? No, essentially uh, he was waiting in the park, the park land there. Did he know that she made that route? Is that a regular path that she takes? Or? I can't answer that question, I'm sorry. And just for the vision, that's Carmichael Park there. Is that where that dirt, the dirt road is with, with the, for that gate? Just because I know it's in the sports field there, is that <coughs> down, down that road? Near the soccer club? Yeah. It, it leads to the soccer club, yeah. So, do you think this was targeted to maybe mothers or women picking up um, children from school? No, not at all. Who is this woman? How old is she? Is she a mother? Is she a student? She's a woman in her early 30s who um, utilises the local pedestrian uh, footpath type of uh, uh, thoroughfare through that parklands uh, for, for her own health. I think that's about as far as she I can take it. Yeah. Had this lady ever seen this man in the area before? Did she know? No. no. So she lives in, in the area? Close proximity, yes. Is she married? Does she have kids? I'd rather, I'd rather not further that if you don't mind, if that's okay. Have there ever been any other attacks like this in the area? Is this the first no. time? Yes. Yes. And um, if we have our way, it'll be the last. How concerned are you that this person is out there at the moment? Well, obviously, being a married man, I'm very concerned. But um, investigations are, are well and truly underway. And, uh, and that's probably why um, it's been a couple of days since I've, uh, I haven't been able to release too much information prior to today. So, presumably, um, other women exercise in that area or have you got a warning to them? <coughs> Absolutely. Um, be vigilant of your their personal safety. Um, preferably uh, walk with as a group or, or at least a couple. Um, it's uh, just commonsensical I'd suggest um, until we get our job done. But um, it's uh, yeah be vigilant about your personal safety. Have you spoken to any members of the public? Are, are people worried that this person's on the list? Members of the public in that area, residents in that area, have been tremendous with their assistance. Uh, for instance, the gentleman that came forward with the CCTV footage um, of the lady um, going to the park that day. Um, been a tremendous assist. I don't, I don't think it could take much further than that, really. What sort of knife was it? All I can say really from a description standpoint is a small knife. I'd rather not further that.
Okay. Did the victim fight back at any stage or try to resist? No. Uh, and just finally, if you could elaborate, what sort of damage does this do to the small community like? Well, obviously, uh, an area such as this is, is normally a very quiet area where people can walk in the park and exercise as they see fit. And um, I'd say this will have a, a fairly marked effect on um, people undertaking their normal exercise or whatever, walking the dog, etc., in and around that parkland. But again, we're putting the resources into the job to finalise it. And um, I'd just like to thank you for coming out and helping me tonight.